Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the ummah jewels. Ummatun Nabi jewels. In many places it is mentioned that one tear from an eye coming out min khashyatillah from fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I will never see hellfire Prophet used to push Sahaba to cry to tear to what shed tears shed tears from their eyes even by pressing they have to push themselves to get a tear because that tear is enough to pull you out of her fire and how many people people they as soon as they begin with zikrullah their eyes shed tears some people in different times everyone in this time that time it's not necessary all of them in the same time but we have to know that Allah gave us something that's so valuable Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, as we said many times, is 19 letters. 19 letters. Ahlul Aba, Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Zahra, Hassan, Wal Hussein, five. If you count how many letters, is 19. Those ones that Prophet covered them with his jubba, with his cloak. And he said, I am not asking you anything Allah said to him in Holy Quran to say, I'm not asking for my message to reach you any ajr, any reward, except I want you to take care of my... Who are they? What is their names? Ahlul Bayt. What is their names? That he is showing the Ummah how much he loves them and how much he asked through Holy Quran for people to take care of them to take what? care of them and learn from them and people today do they take care of them? Or their grandchildren until day of judgment? No. Forget the grandchildren until day of judgment. They take care of these five? No. They don't take care. They ask. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he said these two, Hassan wal Hussein, Raihani Tataini of Ahlul Jannah, they are the two Raihana, the best of flowers, smell, these two of them, Hassan and Hussein. Take care of them. Yes, they took care of good, take, good time. 
what they did? They killed them. Who can imagine that someone will kill the grandchildren of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned them many times he was carrying them on her, his shoulder when he was praying. They come and jump on his shoulder. In one hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sometime he kept in sajda until for one hour until they go out from his back. <coughs> Waiting for them to come out of from his back. Someone pulled one of them one time and Prophet said, don't touch them. Leave them. They are shuhada ahl jannah. They are the martyrs of all paradises. Sayyidina Hussein, because he promised those who wrote for him letter to come to Baghdad, Kufa, to take bay'ah from him. Although he was being advised not to go. But he said, I have all these letters that they are going to support me. <laughs> what they did with him? They betrayed him. He has the letters from them one, one by one. Their names. 72, Sayyidina al Hussein. Seven, he took his family and his children. 72 of them with him to Kufa. Because he promised Man Wa'ada Wafa, Prophet said, who, who promised he will fulfill his promise. Even he knew that he was going to be killed. He said, I will not break my promise. Today, who can keep his promise? No one. Everyone is, his promise is broken. Since, Arastu Rabbi Kunkalu Bala. Sayyidina al Hussein was like a lion coming, approaching Kufa. This, and then they telling him to go back. He said, no, I promised. I cannot break my promise in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What happens, happens. I'm moving forward. They want to kill me, I will be their, uh, their inter intercessor in the day of judgment. He said, he said, message to Yazid that my father has the power in the day of judgment, my grandfather. I am, no Hussein can be after me. I am the only Hussein, grandson of Prophet. East and west, you turn into dunya, there is no one can be Hussein except him. And no one can be Hassan except his brother. So Prophet uh, he, he said to Yazid, to the uh, messenger of Yazid, that what he will do in front of Prophet in the day of judgment if he kills me now? Only tell me. I am coming here. I have my wife, my children, my, uh, all my family was around 50 in his age. What you 
expect my grandfather will say to Yazid how Yazid is going to stand in front of Prophet the Prophet will look at him when Sayyidina Hamza was being killed by that when he was killed Sayyidina Hamza Prophet never turned his face toward Wahshi when he came and after many years to repent and become Muslim. He accepted his Shahada because he doesn't reject anyone but he didn't look at him. What you think he will do for you when you kill his grandson? You killed his uncles, he didn't look at you. When you killed your, his grandson, what you will do? The messenger went to Yazid and Yazid gave now there is many narrations on that issue but Allah knows best the hearts but the actions were wrong he sent 10,000 soldiers against 72 people 10,000 soldiers soldiers against the 72 people, 72 of the family of Sayyidina al Hussein. He asked for his children and grandchildren water they never give. They killed his son Ali al-Akbar in front of his face. And then what did happen? They attacked Sayyidina al Hussein and they killed him into pieces. They cut, they, you see in today in some, in some videos, people they kill other people and they, they put them in a machine to grind them. They grinded Sayyidina al Hussein, but not his head, because they took his head, he wants, they want to take it as a present for Yazid. A gift. Where are you, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah? Where are you? Not even one of you observed that day of Ashura. Did we see any masjid observing Ashura? Let me very few. How you call yourself, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah? When you don't observe the best of characters, the best of manners, Sayyidina al Hussein, to speak about his honor, to speak about his reputation, to speak about his sincerity, his piety, to speak about his family, to speak about all of them. Where are you? No, they are, they are sleeping. It's not a, it's an issue of Shia only. It's all Muslims. Where are Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah that they say in their masajid we are Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah? Out of love I am saying this, not out of anything else. No one telling his son about, or his daughter about this, and or his wife or his children, adult. They don't know anything about Ashura and Sayyidina al Hussein. Ask, they are here sitting. Do, 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 do they do that in Senegal, in uh, Ivory Coast? Why, they are all Muslim. You in Pakistan, they do that? They do that in Pakistan? You yes, don't tell me about Pakistan, they do that. Might be 5% of the masajid. Where Ahlul Sunnah in every masjid must be like 
Like because it, because it's the beginning of the year, Hijra year. They celebrate Hijra year, and they don't observe uh, the uh, not the death of Sayyidina Hussein. Do all masajid in Pakistan they observe that night? Like Laylatul Baraa. If you know that for Sayyidina Al Hussein who mentioned his name is enough to come to go to paradise, it will be with Sayyidina Al Hussein. If you give food on Ashura day for Sayyidina Al Hussein, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you food in paradise. Allah said in Holy Quran, it's finished. I'm not asking any favor from you except to take care of my family. Make, teach about them, observe their, what they have done with them, good or bad. No one take care of that. I'm surprised. In, in America here, an imagined observe Ashura might be very few also. But not everyone. Oh Muslim, if we really want to be in Riyadh al Jannah, turn your circles into remembrance of Ahlul Bayt. Because they are Riyadh al Jannah. If you hold on Fatima to Zahra, she will take you with her to paradise. If you hold on Sayyidina al Hussein, we take you to paradise. Or Sayyidina al Hassan, take you to paradise. Or Sayyidina Ali, take you to paradise. Sayyidina Muhammad, وسلم, take the whole Ummah, the whole creation. But I like to say we forget, not to say more than that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna Allah yudafi'u anil ladina amanu. Allah defend those who are believers. So we say, Ya Rabbi, we, are, we hope that we are believers and we are weak and helpless and heedless. We don't know what to do. We are very sorry that we don't take care of the life of the best of creation and the life of his grandchildren and his companion. Allah.